Okay, so we have tried headphones under two thousand, five thousand, ten thousand, and even. 30,000. And in 2022, buying a headphone is confusing because there are TWS, neck bands, and even wide earphones. But the question that has to be asked is, should you even get a headphone or a TWS? Well, see, it's simple. I won't waste your time. If you want best audio, best ANC, or you are into serious video editing sound stuff, get headphones, no BS. But if you just need something for walking, workout, to look trendy, get TWS or a neck band. So that's it. We... End the video before we begin. See you in the next video. Pew pew. <laughs> Not so fast. We have a whole lot to talk about headphones. Also, we have the newly launched Sony XM5 and this probably is the best headphone money can buy. So stay tuned till the end of the video. It's a good one. Pratik, Techwiser, let's go. Okay, so first up we have the Zebronix Zeb Thunder. Ooh. And see here on the and see here on the box, it has built-in FM radio, micro SD, dual pairing, voice assistant, and all of this for 500 rupees only. This can't be true. Or can it be true? But first, well, you get the box. Inside you get the headphones, some paperwork, and aux cable. Now, some premium headphones may come with extra ear cups or a carrying pouch. And you must consider three things while getting headphones. First is comfort and build quality, because these are devices sitting on top of your head like sounds funny i know but it is what it is if the headphones are heavy or poor build you will feel uncomfortable very quickly and this feels cheap secondly battery life headphones consume more battery than tws or neckband and lastly but not the least drivers no not car drivers these are sound drivers in here and they are measured in millimeters or mm so in most cases bigger driver is equal to better sound quality which brings me to this zeb thunder for one these look and feel very cheap it is so light that it feels like a toy and it is also not very comfortable to wear and second the sound quality is below average like listening to songs you can barely hear the singer i can only hear the thump of the bass that and you'll be like, Pratik, at 500 rupees, what more can you expect? Well, yes, that is true. But listen carefully. All these cheap headphones will work for about a month or so, and then they will either break or one year will stop working. Like this one, we just got it deliver, and it doesn't even charge properly. Like I have to insert the cable like this and keep holding it to charge. If I leave the cable, the charging stops. So you can't just keep standing like this and charge your headphones. Not efficient. I. It, I think it is not efficient. So my recommendation, if you have 500 rupees or even 1000, get a neck band instead like Dizo Dash. Here's a good video on neck band. Don't buy headphones around 1000. Or try to increase the budget a bit to around 1500 to 2000 and then you will see some really good headphone options. Which brings me to Boat Rockers 550. And it cost 1999, but during sales, you can get it for around 1499. And for that price, this is a really good option. Like the build quality is really nice. Ear cups are quite big, and this is over the ear headphone, so it completely covers up your ears. This also helps reduce outside noise. Also, it is very comfortable. So you can wear this for a long time. And even the sound quality is pretty good. There is good separation between the highs and lows. Like if you're listening to Pasuri, nice song, I can easily make out which instrument are being played. At the same time, the sound, the vocals are good. So if you're looking for a wireless option and your budget is around 2000, get the Boat Rockers 550. In case you are the lucky few who still has the headphone jack, first, I'm jealous of you. And second, consider getting the AKG K52. These are really nice wired headphones, really good for music, video editing, and studio work. They usually sell for around 2000. You get a very balanced sound. Up next, we have the Bode Nirvana 751 ANC. And on Amazon right now, it is selling for 3999 INR. But during sale, it goes down to 2999. And for that price, it's a killer deal. Like firstly, this has ANC, active noise cancellation. So the headphone uses mic placed on the outside to listen and identify noises in the surrounding, like AC noise, cooler noise, fan noise, and all of that, and then reduces it. So you can listen to better audio and concentrate on your work. And second, Secondly, this has a whooping 65 hours of battery life on a single charge. That is the highest on this list. And it comes with Type-C fast charging. Also, the sound quality is very good for the price. So overall, if your budget is around 4,000, the Bode Nirvana 751 ANC is a really nice option. So up next, we have the JBL Tune 760 NC. It's weird, but it's very satisfying. Currently, this is selling for 6599, but during sales, you can grab it for 5699. We have been using this headphone for quite some time, and we even did a video on it previously. You can check that out. 
after watching this video. But this is very interesting. Like for the price, you're getting very good features. The build quality is really good. Ear cups are quite comfortable and the sound quality is decent. You also get ANC, Google Fast Pair, but that's not the best feature. The best feature is dual device pairing. Like this feature is on premium headphones. I can connect two devices at the same time. Like see, I have the headphones connected on my phone as well as my laptop. And now if I get a call on my phone, when I'm seeing a video on the laptop, it pauses the video and automatically switches to the phone. After I disconnect the call, it goes back to my laptop and resumes the video. Very nice. So around 7000, the JBL Tune 760NC is a good choice. Now, if you're a PC or a console gamer like PS4, PS5 and are looking for headphones around 10,000, I would recommend getting the JBL Quantum 600. And it is for gamers because look here. It has RGB! Yes, and you can even customize it. Also, it has 50mm drivers and Dolby Atmos, so the sound quality is above average. The build quality is decent for the price, but all the money that you pay is for these controls here. Like, let me show you. You get this extra scroll here, so I can control the volume of the game or chat. So see, now I am on game volume and now I can reduce it. And now I am on chat volume and now I can increase the chat volume. Very handy while playing games. Also, when you want to mute the mic, you can just raise it like this and that's it. No one can hear you, quick and simple. But, but, but there are a few things with this headphone. First of all, you don't get ANC at this price point. That's a bummer. And second, this does not have Bluetooth. So you get this dongle, you'll have to plug it into the USB port and you are good to go. Similar to like a mouse dongle. The advantage here is that it will give you really good lossless audio because it works on Wi-Fi. But the disadvantage is that you cannot connect it to your phone. You will need a dongle. So if you're gaming on a PC or a console, the JBL Quantum 600 is a good choice. Next up, Sony's WH-1000XM4 is one of of the best headphones you can get for under 20,000. The name could be better though. Like see here in Amazon, currently it costs 22,990. But if you see the price history here below, the XM4 often goes under 20,000, even 18, 19,000. And for that price, the ANC of this headphone is really good. It has four mics on the outside to detect and cut down environment noise. And this is the best ANC you can find at this price range. And the sound quality is also one of the best. Like the bass is not overdone or the vocals are not too shrill. So if you're listening to Badshah Ke Gaane or Arijit Singh, you will have an awesome audio experience on both the songs. You will also get some extra cool features. Like see here, the exterior of the ear cup is actually a touchpad. You can just tap on it to play or pause the music or just swipe like this to go to the next music. Also, it has proximity sensors. So when you take off the headphones while watching YouTube, it automatically pauses the video. And when you put it back on, it automatically resumes the video. That's really cool. And quite frankly, under 20,000, this is the headphone to get. If you have the money and you want to buy one headphone for life, it makes sense to invest in Sony XM4. Like these things last five to six years. I have the XM4 two years and it's still going strong. Don't buy the XM3 now, it's pretty old. But well, XM4 was last year's headphones and you know, new is always better. Wrong. It is in this case though, <laughs> because we have the all new Sony XM5 and trust me, it is better. First, have a look at the designs side by side. The XM5 looks more sleek and cool and you can know that it's an XM5 from a distance. The XM4 weighs in like 256 grams and the XM5 weighs in like 248 grams. So that is a reduction of 8 grams and for headphones and wireless devices, that is quite a lot of difference. It makes it more comfortable to wear. Second, the ANC is even better in this one. Like you get 8 mics on the headphones to better understand the type of environment you are in and automatically tune the ANC. Like I can't show this on camera, but take my word on this. Like see in the office when I put the XM4, the ANC is good. It cuts off almost all the static noises, but the XM5's ANC is even better. Like now it feels like there is near silence in the office. I can't even hear people. Like many times I just wear the headphones and don't listen to music. The ANC is so good that it gives a near silent experience. I mean, you can meditate wearing this if you want. Also, you have adaptive ANC, but I think this year it has gotten better. So the ANC level changes as you move on to a different environment. Like see here in office, I'm sitting. It says that I'm sitting. And now as I start walking, about eight, nine, 10 steps, see the ANC changes. It's now walking. So now I can hear a bit of sound from outside. Helpful when you're walking in traffic, you can hear the honk or the traffic noise. So using your smartphone, it recognizes which environment I'm in and changes the ANC level accordingly. Also, the battery life has doubled. The XM4 would last around 15 hours on a single charge. The XM5 lasts nearly 30 hours. So overall, if you're serious about audio and you want the best in class ANC and 
if you can spend around 30,000, the Sony XM5 is one of the best headphones out there. So yeah, that was the list. And I would really insist if you have the money, get the XM4 or XM5, best tech purchase of my life personally. And on that note, this is Vidhi signing off. See you in the next video. Thank you. Thank you.